This is a sample example of a problem from an Algebra 1 final exam, and we want to know which of the following are equivalent to the original equation up here. So before you jump into this, we're going to need to know certain things. So for example, you're going to need to know what it means for equations to be equivalent. That's certainly one of the most important concepts. If you have this or some other questions, take a moment to uh, click on some of the related videos which address them. When you're comfortable what, with what everything means, what the question is asking, and you, perhaps you've explored some links, we can jump in. First, I want to note that the 14x here is the same for all of our possible solutions. So that's, that doesn't, that's not going to affect our answer. So really what we want to know is this the left side of our equation is equivalent to which left side of the equation over here. So let's focus in on this and try to find an equivalent form. I've rewritten the expression on the left hand side and what I see here is that none of my possible answers have parentheses. So I want to get rid of my parentheses and I'm going to do so by distributing. I'm going to multiply a minus 2 by the 7x and by the 1. So that's going to give me the 5x will be unchanged. Uh, minus 2 times 7x is minus 14x and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Because this is a multiple choice question, it is strongly pointing me in favor of A. Notice this has a minus 2 in it and this has a minus 2 in it. We can confirm that it that is in fact the case because 5x minus 14x is going to be negative 9x. So on the left hand side of the equation I get negative 9x minus 2 and that is equal to 14x. So yes, we can conclude definitively A is the correct answer. This is in other words, each of these have exactly the same solution for x. The same value of x makes that true. I'm just going to leave you with the idea that that value of x is going to be negative 2 over 23, which is what I get when I solve this. But notice we didn't even have to do that. What we were able to do in order to uh, find the answer was to compare this left side of the equation this left side of the equation and see that they were equivalent. Thank you.